first, a tribute to a great Welsh painter who died in January, Peter Prendergast. <laughs> People talk of painting as a craft. There's an element of that, but that's not what it's about. It's about a philosophy. Originally from Abertridder, a mining community in the South Wales Valleys, the young Prendergast's talent was first spotted and encouraged by his art teacher, Goma Lewis. As the son of a miner and having left school without any qualifications, the discovery of his exceptional talent almost certainly saved him from a working life underground. Following a scholarship to Cardiff School of Art, he was accepted into the Slade in London, where under the guidance of his teacher, Frank Auerbach, he began to hone his style. What I arrived at the Slade with was a very kind of raw, intuitive way of painting, painting directly from things in front of me, very energetic, but not necess necessarily particularly intelligent. But what happened at the Slade um, was I realised that you couldn't make a painting just based upon energy, that there had to be some kind of intellect and some kind of intelligence. In 1969, his love of the landscape and a preoccupation with his Welsh identity drew him to North Wales, where he settled with his wife in the village of Bethesda. The nearby Penryn Quarry became a particular source of fascination and he painted it repeatedly in his trademark palette of bold colours held between thick black lines. The reason for wanting to draw it and paint it was because it was an incredible man-made hole. It was the fact that it was an incredible visual thing. That it was that that attracted me initially. I used to come up here uh, in the early 1980s. I lived just by the bridge at the bottom. I had a wheelbarrow and I used to come up and draw from the other end. By the 1980s, his reputation as a significant Welsh painter was established and then further enhanced when a painting of Penryn Quarry was bought by the Tate Gallery. Last year, despite his failing health, Prendergast seemed to be at the very height of his powers, with a major retrospective of his work, a published volume of essays and plans underway for a new exhibition. His untimely death at the age of 60 has robbed Wales and Britain of one of our foremost landscape painters. <laughs>